Did you know that insects are the most common type of animal that exist on the planet? They make up about 75% of the animal kingdom. There's close to 300,000 species of insects. One of the species that you might actually be familiar with is a wasp. Some people also talk about having hornet nests. Well, I'm Janice Crenetti, and I'm here to talk to you about what's the difference between a wasp and a hornet. Well, actually, there's a short version and there's a long version. The short version is that a hornet is a wasp. So all hornets are wasps, but not all wasps are hornets. Here's the longer version. You see, hornets are a type of wasp that are not native to North America. Now, we've had some come over as non-native species, but they don't technically belong here. When you're trying to identify any species of wasp, there's a few things that you can look at. You can look at the shape of their body. You'll notice that these two have very different shapes. Sometimes you'll see um, longer abdomens. You'll see skinnier bodies or fatter bodies, depending on where the animals make their nests, whether it's under the ground, whether it's in a dead tree, or whether they make them out of paper, like the paper wasps do. Those are the big, giant nests that you tend to see, hopefully not under your roof, but sometimes on trees out in nature. So there's a couple of things that they have in common. They both tend to have two sets of wings. Some species are able to actually fold their wing over their back, like you can see this one here doing. And some species aren't able to do that. You can look at coloration. You can look at the shape of their head. You can even look at the type of mouth parts they have to identify what different species you're dealing with. You need a magnifying glass and a field guide, though, to get that specific. The thing to remember is that hornets are wasps. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is What's the Difference Between a Wasp and a Hornet?